Good afternoon. Today we are going to discuss a lesson prose by Stephen de Kock. Are the rich happy? by Stephen Leacock. This one is the uh, short lesson by Stephen Leacock. Stephen Butler Leacock who was born in 1869 and died in 1944 he was a famous british canadian humorist educator political scientist and historian known his known popularly for his internationally so internationally for his for his use of humor he often studied and critiqued the prevalent social hobbies in a comical manner his work reflects a noticeable satirical elements in fact he came to be known as the most renowned english speaking humorist between 1915-1925 the stephen leacock memorial medal for humor was a, was a so named to honor his legacy see here the stephen leacock was one of the well known humorist historian satirist political thinker or political scientist and he was very no very known for his satire or humor and a well known award is also given in the memory in the legacy of stephen leacock it is about the humor some of his famous work as literary literary lapses was published in 1910 nonsense novels was published in 1911 sunshine sketches of little town was published in 1912 and adventures with the ideal rich was published in 1914 This one is the very short information about here this writer Stephen Leacock, and see here a paragraph about the essay. The following extract is derived from Leacock's famous collection of humor sketches for the foolishness. Sketches for the foolishness. This one is the collection of humor where he wrote short stories. Collection of further foolishness. It was published in nineteen sixteen. and from the this collection this extract are the rich happy is derived which is for our syllabus the essay is humorous satire on the existence of rich people he quotes various names of rich people that he heard or of or met and through a careful observation he finds that these people are not only not truly rich or devoid of any problems 
He states that the rich are not only truly rich but only appear so. The so called rich people have problems that the so called poor people do not have. He provides various examples of people who appear rich but then he sorry then they are not so as rich as the next person. The very idea of rich people is something that no one is able to attain. Here this one is a paragraph which is about the essay. The essay is derived from collection of further foolishness. It was published in 1916. And this, this one is the extract from the essay, Are the Rich Happy? He speaks about the rich people. He speaks about the rich person. He says that the rich are not as rich as they show. The rich people are not as rich as they pretend to be. Means, suppose a person is rich, then later on, due to some financial circumstances, crisis, his condition is not the same as it was before few years or few, or few months. Then, though his financial condition is not same, as before, but this person pretends, means shows that he is rich and he says that in addition to this one, he says that the rich are not truly rich but only appear so. The so called rich people have problems that the so called poor people do not have. He provides various examples of the people who appear rich, but they, then they are not as rich as the next person. The very idea of rich people is something that no one is able to attain. Here, he speaks about the actually those who are not rich, but pretend to be rich, means they are showing rich. Actually, the richness is the matter related to your wealth. The richness is the matter related to your property. The richness is the matter related to your financial condition. But this man, Stephen Leacock's observations are, these rich people are not truly rich but only appears so. He says that, these rich people have problems. On the contrary, the poor people do not have problems. The poor people are happy. But the rich people are not happy. Because they are always thinking about their business. They are think always thinking about their property. They are always thinking about their wealth. And they are always thinking about their investment and income. If the calculation, if the balance between investment and income, if the balance or the calculation between the property, wealth and its return is suppose there is imbalance, there is imbalance, then the final, there, is, there are crises in financial condition of these people. So he says that the rich people are not truly rich but only appears so. But on the contrary, the poor people are happy but the rich people are always in crisis. The rich people are always struggling hard. And while concluding or while saying, he is speaking the same, he says that, let me admit at the outset that I write this essay without adequate material. He says that, I write this essay without adequate material. I have never known, I have never seen any rich people. Very often I have thought that I have found them, but it turned out that 
it was not so they were not rich at all they were quite poor they were hard up they were pushed for money they didn't know where to turn for 10000 dollars see here he speaks about the problems of rich they didn't know where to turn for 10000 dollars means they are in suppose in need of the money then they didn't know from whom to borrow the money from whom to get the money and this type of the condition if they are in the life of the person then she says that his life is not peaceful i have examined the this same error has crept in i had often imagined from the fact of people keeping 15 servants that they were rich i had supposed that because a woman wrote down in a limousine to buy a 50 dollar hat see here he gives a example of the lady who wrote down with the limousine limousine means car it is very costly one considering the international market it is its rating is at very high and here the lady suppose wrote down or travels with the see with the her limousine to buy a hat of the $50 she must be well to do not at all all these people turn out on the examination to be not rich they were cramped means they, they are not comfortable they are uncomfortable or small or the restricted they say it themselves pinched i think is the word they use when i see a glittering group of eight people in a stage box at the opera i know that they are all pinched the fact that they drive home in a limousine has nothing to do with it suppose a person goes somewhere in a rickshaw in a taxi in a limousine or in the other type of the vehicle or the car then the other people who are aware present at that moment don't have any business about your travel about your vehicle about your car about your jeep about your taxi a friend of mine has 10000 dollars a year told me the other day with a sign that he found a quite impossible to keep up with the rich on his income he couldn't do it a family that i know who have 20000 a year have told me the same thing they can't keep up with the rich there is no use trying a man that i respect very much who has an income of 50000 dollars a year from his law practice has told me with the greatest frankness that he finds it absolutely impossible to keep up with the rich he says it is better to face the brutal fact of being poor he says he can only give one uh, give me a plain meal but what he calls a home dinner it takes three men and two men to serve and he begs me to put up with it see here he is giving the examples first example is of the that lady who travels with the limousine 
so as to buy a hat the another example is our person who goes for the dinner for the for the party in the limousine the other people do not have any business out his car or about his vehicle the third example that he gives us it is of the lawyer the lawyer says that it is very hard to be a rich means it is very hard to to maintain richness to maintain richness means if the person is rich then he has to maintain the richness maintain richness means he has to maintain his vehicles costly vehicles costly home bungalow servants and other things which are uh, in the daily needs so as to show his richness as far as i remember i have never met mr carnage uh, but i know that if i did he would tell me that i found it quite impossible to keep up with the rock feather no doubt mr rock feather has the same feeling see here some of or the most of the people who are rich are not able to maintain the richness maintain the richness means uh i just give you a example original rich and showing rich means the sum of some of the people pretend to be rich means they show that they are rich and their richness is very hard to maintain though they pretend as rich but it is not very comfortable for them it is not possible for them to show its richness and to maintain the richness on the other hand there are there must be rich people somewhere i run across traces of them all the time the <clears throat> janitor in the building where i work has told me that he has a rich cousin in england who is in the south western railway and gets 10 pound a week he says the railway wouldn't know what to do without him in the same way the lady who washed at my house has a rich uncle he lives in a winnipeg and owns owns his own house clear and has two girls at the high school means some of the people are rich but the the fact is that they are not able to show maintain their richness because to main the maintain the richness is very hard one and suppose a person wanted to maintain his richness then the person has to maintain a car the person has to maintain a big bungalow or a house the person has to maintain costly um, furniture items in home and costly food at home the servants at home such things are there and with the such thing or with lot of things or with this number of things it is not possible to maintain the whole work to be a uh, rich then such people comes in the category showing rich is they are not rich actually they are rich but in the circumstances due to the financial crisis due to other conditions they are not able to maintain richness they are may not able to maintain or show richness and they are showing rich they are pretending to be rich such type of the condition is there <clears throat> then last paragraph but these are only reported cases of richness i cannot vouch for them myself when i speak therefore of rich people and discuss whether 
they are happy it is understood that i am merely drawing my conclusion from the people whom i see and know my judgment is that rich undergrow cruel trials and bitter tragedies of which the poor know nothing see here cruel trials and bitter tragedies such type of the condition the ups and downs are in the life of the rich peoples are there because of the it is because of the cruel trials and bitter tragedies the cruel trials and bitter tragedies are in the life of the rich people but on the contrary poor do not know anything about such things do not know these trials and tragedies whether it is cruel whether it is bitter whether it is harmful whether it is a time consuming whether it is expensive whether it is helpful whether it is easy the poor are very long and very much away from such things or such experiences and if cruel trials are not in your life bitter tragedies are not in your life then your life is happy if the life is happy then it must be poor such type of the examples that stephen dickock gave us here and uh, this one is the half portion of the lesson 50% of the lesson remaining 50% of the lesson we will conclude in the next lecture theek okay? hai thank you thank you good day